Howdy folks, this is Haley over at Volé Manufacturing and today we're going to dive into talking about our traction pattern based skis and boards. Well those are products that have a fish scale base on the underfoot of the skis and split boards we produce here in Salt Lake City, Utah. They've got enough grip to get you up the slope and enough glide to get you down. Pretty easy for fast transitions, simple days walking around in your backyard, making your own trail or even uh, crazy missions depending on how how you choose to go up the hill. So what can you do with these products? Where can you take them? Well, that's gonna depend on what kind of skier you are and what you're looking for. Some of our folks really prefer to graduate from that Nordic track and take out a ski with a wider underfoot, so they wanna make their own trail in the woods. Some folks prefer these for fitness, getting up the hill as soon as they can, getting down the hill and rinse and repeat until their legs are tired. Some of our folks really enjoy using this as their daily driver. These are products we also offer in our normal base downhill skis. So if you're a fan of our Ultra Vector, you could try out our Ultra Vector BC and uh, speed up those transition times. The beauty of these skis is that they offer the same performance you can find in one of our non-scale base skis or boards. That means you can really combine different ski binding options for each ski depending on what you are trying to do with these in the backcountry. You can pair these skis with a three pin and leather boot combo, AT binding, even with a tele binding. However, we don't really recommend pairing an NNN, that's the new Nordic norm binding on any of our fish scale base skis. These skis are a little bit overpowering for that binding and we might recommend a three pin and a leather boot instead for that similar feel, but that performance we're all looking for. Our scale base skis and split boards, the scales do not replace climbing skins. This is a scale base that will allow you, based on different snow conditions and terrain, to move uphill efficiently. So for example, if it's a really icy day and that skin track has seen a lot of skiers, you might wanna take out your skins for the day or maybe even make your own skin track. Even fresh powder, it takes a little bit of that ski to get some grip and fresh powder and you might see some slippage. Prime condition we've found to get you up the hill as fast as possible would be if there's just a little bit of soft snow on top of that skin track, it'll get you up the hill with a solid amount of grip. When you get to the top of your summit for the day and you're ready to rip on down, that transition time with these scale-based skis and board is gonna be much faster without the need for climbing skins. The beauty of these skis is you're gonna get that same downhill performance of other backcountry skis and split boards. Skiing down a low angle slope or coming off of a low angle exit you might feel those scales drag a little bit. These skis will perform a little bit differently in different snow conditions once again. On a low angle slope in some spring conditions, that snow might just be a little bit faster and you might be able to keep up with them a little bit better. Something to keep in mind when you're traveling downhill with these scale-based skis and split board, they don't excel at riding switch. This is due to going against the grain of the scales. Lastly, we're gonna leave you with some tips and tricks to best use these traction pattern-based skis and boards. When tuning scaled skis, we recommend hot waxing just the tip in the tail of that ski. We do not recommend putting hot wax on that scaled base pattern underfoot unless you like picking out that hot wax with a toothpick. If you're still looking to increase your glide, you can use a rub-on glide wax over that scale base pattern to just give you a little bit more glide on that downhill. If you are using skins in combination with that scale base ski, we do not recommend that application as it could contaminate that ski skin. To maximize that performance in the skin track, we really recommend weighting your heels so you can properly grip and eliminate frustrations. Scales are gonna be pretty similar to traveling uphill like you would with your normal backcountry setup with skins. We recommend you take these out just for a day or two before any big missions so you can really get comfortable with your new skis. As you are traveling uphill on some of those tricky kick turns, to eliminate frustrations and maybe taking a spill. If you go past where prior kick turns have taken place, you can effectively make a kick turn in some fresh snow, travel horizontally back into that skin track, 
and continue on to your next kick turn. With these scale-based skis, you might find yourself making a lot more kick turns than you normally would just to mitigate your terrain and travel uphill efficiently. So keep that in mind when you're using your BC skis. And that goes into our last pro tip of terrain mitigation and how to travel uphill efficiently. We recommend being spatially aware and understanding where you're going for the day so you don't end up in a situation That's where easy. the terrain is a little bit too steep for those scale-based skis. A good rule of thumb is if you're about to flick up that second heel riser on your ski setup, you might be in terrain that is just a little bit too steep for our scale-based skis. It might be a good opportunity for you to pop on some ski climbing skins or find a little bit more of a mellow approach. If you're interested in our scale-based skis, but not totally convinced it's a ski for you, come on down to our retail store here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We've got a full demo fleet. We can send you out to tour in the Wasatch Mountains so you can get a real feel for how these perform. We also do have a number of locations across the U.S. that do have these in their rental shops that would be more than happy to get you set up for a backcountry rental. Thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you out there on the skin track on your fresh new scale-based skis. There it is. There it is. <laughs> That's a wrap.